Hi, my name is Drake Matheson, and uh, in this video, we are going to uh, discuss concealed carry and uh, what gear I run and why I recommend it. Um, so let's get into it. So um, we're going to try and make this video quick, uh, quick too. Uh, so we're going to try and make everything very just set out there, very basic. We'll get into more um, detailed stuff in future videos. So uh, what should you carry on your person every day when you're concealed carrying? Well, keys, wallet, phone. Uh, I would carry a knife. Uh, I carry a CR, CRKT uh, knife, works great. Uh, this can be used as a tool for many, many things. I highly, highly recommend carrying a knife uh, everywhere you go, uh, very useful tool. So um, what else besides uh, that um, you're gonna need a good gun belt. Um, I recently bought a Core Essentials gun belt. Uh, I think this is called their Garrison belt, um, Garrison Duty belt or something like that. It's a 1.75 inch width, uh, and it has a cool ratcheting adjusting system uh, for fitment. A uh, little release tab to release it. Uh, works great. Uh, it's very rigid and the purpose of a dedicated uh, gun belt is to support the weight of a firearm. As you can see, I cannot bend this with my hand. It does not fold. It's very, very sturdy and rigid. Uh, you do not want a flimsy, you know, just sort of crappy belt that is going to um, when you have your weapon holstered inside, uh, it's not going to flop around when you're running or moving or bending over or whatever. Uh, so get a good gun belt. Like I said, uh, Core Essentials Garrison Duty Belt, I think this one's called. Highly recommend. Uh, when you are not wearing something with belt loops and a belt, uh, when I'm wearing sweatpants or running shorts or something like that, I carry my gun in a concealed carry fanny pack. This is a 511 brand uh, concealed carry fanny pack. Um, basically how it works is I, I'm a lefty. Um, so you have this pull tab as you're wearing it, you know, it comes with a little strap in the back to go around your waist and sizes it, it adjusts with, you know, these um, on each side. I have, uh, I have a, the excess tucked in right now is all uh, so when you're wearing this, you just rip down on this quick release tab and it folds all the way open very effortlessly and your pistol sits inside this compartment right in there. Uh, so the barrel ends up being over here and then your uh, grip ends up about right here. Uh, works great. It fits, I think, even a full-size Glock 17. Um, this thing is awesome for, like I said, sweatpants. So you're not, you know, I don't wear jeans every day. I don't know about you guys, but uh, I would highly recommend one of these as well. Next, um, we're gonna get into what I carry for my pistol. Uh, I like Glock, I trust them. Uh, I would also recommend Smith & Wesson m &P and SIG. Um, those are my three recommendations, Glock, Smith & Wesson, SIG. I would stick to those. They work uh, when you are trusting your life on something. You need something that is reliable and that works. So uh, I carry a Glock 43X. Uh, it is a single stack um, nine mil subcompact pistol. Uh, it is great. I love it. I get a full grip with it. Um, it comes from the factory, 10 plus one capacity, but I use the Shield Arms S15 mags, uh, flush fit, as you can see, just like the Glock factory mags, flush fit, uh, but instead of 10 plus one capacity, I'm getting 15 plus one capacity uh, with these mags. Um, how they did it, I'm not super sure, but they did, and they run, and they work great with no reliability issues whatsoever and I shoot a lot so um, trust me these things work uh, I do also have the shield arms plus 10 power spring in each one of these uh, it's never a bad thing to have more spring pressure it's not gonna hurt you uh, so 
again, uh, Shield Arms S15 mags for the Glock 43X is a must. Uh, you're getting 50%, I think it's 50% more ammo capacity in your concealed carry pistol, which is great. Um, so yeah, um, that's what I carry for a pistol um, on me every day. Uh, very, very comfortable. It's very slim. It's a single stack. Um, it's light. It does everything I need it to. Um, and it works. It, you know, it works. It's a Glock. It works. Uh, you know, like I said, I'm a minimalist. Um, Glocks are very simple and they work and there's no frills to them. So that's why I choose Glock. Um, for my holster, oh, no, wait, uh, always carry a spare mag, I always carry, you know, two mags in me, one in the gun, one in my pocket, uh, in case of a malfunction, uh, with the magazine, in, uh, in the, uh, in the situation of a, of a deadly force instance, um, just for peace of mind, always carry a separate mag, uh, at least one, uh, I carry just one, you know, in my pocket, so you can have a magazine holster in your, uh, connect to your holster on the other side of your body, wherever on your waist. I just like mine in my pocket. Um, beyond that, my holster. Uh, this is a uh, holster made by G Code. Um, Travis Haley, I think, worked with G Code uh, to design this holster. Um, it is the Incog Eclipse in waistband holster. Um, it works great. It's a Kydex holster uh, with a sort of like a fuzz on the outside. Uh, it's almost like a suede-like material, kind of like a nice sofa. Um, it's got great retention. If you insert the pistol into the holster, as you can see, it does not fall out, which is a good thing. Uh, and it comes out when you need it to. So um, I think these things are like 85 bucks. Uh, you can get them from tacticalholsters.com. Uh, there, it's a minimalist holster and that is, that's what I like. So I would recommend the G code incog eclipse in waistband holster, uh, for appendix carry. Um, mostly is what this is for and I appendix carry. So it would be about right here. Um, yeah, that is my daily setup. Um, we'll get into more detailed, uh, stuff with, oh, ammo forgot. I use Underwood Extreme Penetrators, uh, plus P plus, well, 115 grain. Um, I'll get into why in a different video. Uh, this is what I use. Uh, I also would recommend something like Spear Gold Dot or Federal HSTs. Um, don't carry ball, uh, standard FMJ ball in your concealed carry pistol, guys. Uh, we have the technology out there now uh, for better bullets and just better concealed carry ammo. Um, and this will do a lot more damage to an attacker than a standard uh, FMJ ball round would. Uh, stick to ball, uh, ball ammo for practice only because it's, it's a lot cheaper. These are about a dollar thirty a round if I remember correctly. Um, you can get 9mm ball right now for I think like 18 cents a round or less. Um, <clears throat> so that wraps up this video. Um, we will get into uh, more detailed stuff and uh, training and drilling and uh, pra practice drills and stuff like that in a uh, future video. Thanks for watching, guys.